Hi, friends and golfers. Eric Silver, eDanceGolf, eDanceGolf.com. I just want to show you one of my students here I'm just really proud of um, with just massive changes that he's made in his golf swing. Um, really neat. And I'll show you, you know, kind of a breakthrough we had today that he's working on and stuff. But I just want to show you where we, this is kind of where we started. You know, see, he was hitting way behind it really fat all the time. Maybe not a big surprise when you see this, right? Look how far he came out there. With that way on the outside, look how far out he is here. So he's moved what his head maybe four inches or something. And you see him coming down, and he was you know severely over the top, maybe eight, nine at times. You know, a good one was four, you know, so mega four. He, he's athletic though, so I mean. You can kind of see what he's doing, how he, he, he figured out how to get his hips open, which is, you know, it's an interesting kind of move he makes. So he goes here, watch what he does, he just flips here. You see that massive move right there? So he gets wide open, and the problem is he's not, but he, he's doing right here, and this is what I explained to a lot of people right here, what he has to do to hit this ball because of what happened here. He put himself in such a position. Now, this is so far across the line, came way in. Uh, what is he going to do? Uh, what option does he have for this right now? Yeah, club is coming. His hand pass is coming out right towards the ball. So yes, it was steep. So it's like, well, what option do you have? You have this option. You throw it at it. And you, you stay back, right? So um, he does, never gets far enough. And he's going he's here. But, you know, fat shots all the time. Shanks. Um, and you can see how far right he's looking at that. And after, you know, sometimes he would dial it in and hit the ball pretty good um, because he's athletic if he played enough. And we've talked quite a bit about that. Like, you're athletic. You know, if you play four times in a week, you know, you're going to start grooving it. And, you know, it's like proof. He, we talked a bit about today. He hadn't played in a while. And, you know, it kind of suffered a little bit his swing in between because it's too much timing and we're wanting to get rid of it. So I want to show you some of those differences just today, these huge ones. And so we are working on a drill here of setting the club early. Okay. I wanted it to be steep here. Well, steep for him. Normally this thing would be flat. Now I wanted to make sure it's in between his feet and the ball right now by the time it's here. So that was a big push to get this to happen. Okay. Without worrying about a shoulder turn. It's just like, just do this, just get there. Okay, now there's, um, when he's here, he's going to take a little pause and make, get this down. He's going to throw it back to about eight o'clock. Okay, so his hands going back. We got the club behind the hands. You can see the path of 0. 0.2. Look at the little point five six. These were always like negative three on the right side before. So he takes and throws it. And the other main thing is we did today, worked very hard on this, is when you get here, I want this wrist to be flat when you throw it down to number eight. So if six would be, you know, right behind you, 12 right in front. Um, so I want the club behind his hand so he can rotate. So yes, it's going to feel like you're casting, but watch what happens to him with this rotation. Look where he's at now compared to, you know, this. You know, just huge changes. He has shaft wing now. He's 5.6 in front. He has tech angle down. It was up all the time before. Um, half was negative, you know, like 11, 9, 7, 5. Crazy numbers. And now his hands are in front. Do we have some work to do? Yeah. I mean, you can see there's some leg structure work that needs to be fixed. But, you know, it, it it's, it's progress as we go through. Like, as we go through this, you know, he'll, we'll work on that at some point right now. It's really important for him to make sure this wrist gets in the right position at the top of the swing. And then he feels, you know, kind of this little casting move that puts him in a position where the clothes behind him and then he can just rotate as hard as he wants, but he's fighting staying back. He wants to stay back behind it because that's what he had to do before. So it's real hard for him to get forward. Okay. So, 
it, it'll change over time, you know, piece by piece. So it, you know, it's chunking, you know, you want to just continually work on it. And today I had him see this club was 70 miles per hour, um, slow for him. And, you know, but it was just great. You know, he was doing most of them where you'd come here today, you'd come here, he would make the move where it felt like he was casting a little bit down here and you have the club at about eight and then just rotate like crazy and boom, it was great. So uh, just want to show you his changes because I'm so proud of him, job he's done. And um, I'll show them to you again after, you know, another month or something and show you where we're at. I'm hoping by that time we can kind of clean up this and get him more forward and quit the hanging back at all that he kind of wants to do on some of them. This one doesn't show it as much, but there'd be others that, See that first move here where he's like, I'm like, just please just go forward from top all the way forward, forward. But see where he goes there? Spinning out, right? But here's the thing. He needed to do that before with what he was doing, right? So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Airstore EJSGolf, EJSGolf.com. Thank you for watching.